Hello everyone, this is Andy Wheeler from AD Wheeler Photography, and welcome to another Lightroom 4.1 tutorial. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to process 32-bit HDR files directly in Lightroom 4.1. We're going to achieve this by assembling our HDR in Photomatics and then importing it directly into Lightroom and having a go. This particular shot is from an upcoming blog that I uh, do over at adwheelerphotography.com and it's on Eastern State Penitentiary and a lot of textures here so it worked really well in HDR. So um, let's uh, get to the processing and showing how we do it. In Lightroom we're going to want to select our beginning bracket and our ending bracket of our photos and we do that by clicking on the first photo in the series and then holding down the shift key and clicking on the last photo. From there we're going to move to the develop module because we want all these files to be corrected um, we're also going to make sure that our white balance is set properly so we select uh, daylight which it was in the shot and then also down on the lens correction uh, we're going to choose a profile there so we arm that uh, choose the profile of uh, Sigma today I was using a Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter lens now that we've got that selected we uh, hit the color select and uh, then check off remove chromatic aberrations and then hit the sync button and we want to make sure that everything on this tab is synced um, I don't sync the crop or straighten angle but you can leave that on if you want and then hit synchronize and that's going to put all of our frames synchronized together so back to the library here and we're going to export out to photomatics now in Photomatix, the tab that comes up, uh, the dialog, we're going to need to make sure that we set a few things properly. So when that pops up, we're going to want to make sure that we align our images, of course, and we want to crop the aligned result, and we want to match features, including per perspective correction. Um, you can reduce ghosting artifacts if you have anything moving in your shot, um, and you can reduce noise if you have any noise. Um, make sure that reduce chromatic aberrations is checked, and show intermediate 32-bit HDR image. This is very important. Make sure that that is checked as well. Um, I also automatically re import into Lightroom, but that doesn't always work, so you can check that off if you want to. Um, it may work for yours, but usually I have to resynchronize. So now through the magic of video editing, we'll move over to Photomatix where our photo is assembling nicely. And you'll see here when this pops up that we get a really dark contrasty photo. That's okay. We're going to edit that. Uh, it will not look like that when we finish. So all you need to do here is just X this out and it'll ask you if you'd like to save. Choose yes from the dialog. And you will have to point this back towards the folder that you originally loaded from. So in this case, it's the ESP folder for me, or Eastern State Penitentiary. And I will select that and save it there. And now we're going to move back over into Lightroom 4.1. Um, back in Lightroom, in order to get this photo to actually uh, load into the catalog, you have to right-click. Then choose Synchronize Folder, which will bring up the Synchronize Folder uh, tab, and then Synchronize that. And that will actually uh, bring that folder, uh, that photo back into the folder, excuse me. Um, and then uh, you're going to want to bring that up in the Develop module. Now, what you're going to see here is a dark photo to begin with, but if you uh, go up to the histogram, uh, and you drag the exposure section of the uh, histogram in Lightroom 4.1, uh, you will see that the dynamic range that we have in this photo now is just absolutely unreal. Uh, all of the controls on this 32-bit file are uh, much more expanded. Even though the numbers only go to 10 or whatever on the sliders, uh, that range within that is much larger than it was when you're working on an 8-bit or a 16-bit file. So there's huge advantages to doing this. Not only uh, is the... Uh, interface a lot more intuitive to work in because you're used to working in Lightroom and handling these files uh, this way but it, it's also uh, greatly expanded the controls they become a different animal 
Um, the clarity uh, works a lot different. Uh, sharpening uh, is a lot more transparent. There's a lot less grain involved when you sharpen the photo. So all of the features are really uh, pumped up, um, like they're on steroids when you're doing this in 32-bit, which is, uh, is why I've selected to start doing all of my HDRs this way. It's uh, really fantastic. And I should note that all of the processing that I'm doing here in the background is just uh, processing to taste. So, you know, if you can do your normal processing in Lightroom once you've got the files in here. This tutorial was just to show you how to get them over there. And uh, I do have inside word from the Adobe developers that... Um, that they are working on a way to make this even more seamless so you won't have to do that synchronization and all that kind of stuff so um, hopefully the Adobe engineers will bless us with a great update uh, next time around uh, make sure you check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash adwheelerphoto and also check out my digital photography processing group on there as well where I uh, post these tutorials and uh, also on my website at uh, adwheelerphotography.com. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well because you'll get your updates directly that way. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.